Welcome back to Let's Play View Pinata. Why isn't this guy eating? Romance candies. I've romanced these guys before. Eat the candy. There we go. Am I going to be able to talk to this guy? He didn't seem to like going in the water before. Darn, I want to actually be able to donate to him, but he's not... Coming to us. He's getting himself stuck in the water. Which is weird considering that most other characters don't seem to have much of a problem with that. And he just stands there for a while and then walks away. I don't want to fill this in or anything. It's annoying, I guess. I won't be able to give him more money until it goes into the garden. Oh no, that's where it is. Darn Quackberry. Whatever, I'm gonna need this romance candy again later. Guys, you two, you two are the ones that I need out right now. Both of you. Hey, Cedos. What's doing, Cedos? Hey, cool. Eh, Norm. Out. Out, Norm. There you go. I also feel like I don't recognize this one. I'm pretty sure I do. I think this one's like a... Oh, what happened? Quackberry yeah. got woke up for some reason. Weird. Okay, so you... We're not really going to pay attention to which tap flies are being bred with who. Where'd that tap fly go? Dude. Flying pinatas have really roundabout ways of doing things sometimes. Beat it. Okay. No, you don't get to double up on romance candies. Dude, I want to. I want. I want to give. Why do you not let me do this? Guys, these, why do these guys sleep in so late? Lazy pinatas. I can probably put a silver coin right behind you. Like that. You can save yourself time. Just by doing that. It's interesting. So there's extra stuff in this one, it's just solo effort. If you're really, really trying to save yourself time, I guess. Maybe they'll kind of, like, it's morning. Like, there's a sun there. I didn't realize the sun actually had a pattern on it like that in this game. These guys were, well, these, yeah, because I just promised those guys just now. Dude, don't just stand there and moan. Like, I do appreciate the flowers actually blooming and whatnot, depending on time of day. Dude, I want to interact with you. Ah. Alright, walk over here. Come on. Um. Um. Good day to you. It warms my heart. Yeah, it's the same stuff as before. How much do I have? Not a ton. But honestly, like, I should make money, make myself more money anyways. It's just gonna be kind of a... You're very generous indeed. I just want you to know that I might have given more than I needed to. I just wasn't sure how much I'd given before. Be the next time we meet. For now, please accept a beggar's thanks and his final farewell. I think you need to give him 4,000 in total for that dialogue to happen. I don't remember. Ivor, yes you can. What? I've never seen that dialogue. That's interesting. Oh, you are dying. Uh, we'll just see. If we can get him to leave on his own eventually. Yeah, so I, I need some kind of motivation to make myself more money anyways. In fact, I'll be selling a lot of pinatas once I get these Master Romancer rewards. So all should be well. I'll just take you some time to do that. But 
it's very, very, very worthwhile getting Eivor to... Why is Eivor like one of the few characters that won't walk through water? It's very, very worth getting Eivor to... <laughs> He's trying. I think he's actually just like exploring every possible corner and then saying, I can't leave. <laughs> ah, that scared me. I didn't expect to touch that. I need to be really good at this if I want to get Master Romancer, because that means completing these in one life the final time. So you have fewer lives every time you do it. Yeah, though, so Eeyore is very, very, very worthwhile. Very worth spe um, spending money on. Hi, I chose a bad time to give you... Oh, no, no, don't you dare. Ugh. Ruffin's gonna be the worst thing. You have to deal with stuff like this. They just break your stuff, mostly. I didn't realize they fill in your water, though. I forgot about that. Ugh. It's gonna be immensely annoying here. Well, you can leave the garden in a moment, dude. Let's actually take advantage of this. Let's let Eeyore leave now. But yeah, they do that. They somehow vomit up, vomit up dirt. Eeyore, leave! Where? Oh. That reminds me of Rockin' Zeke, those guys. Darn it, I want to sell those guys. Oh, whoops. That's the one thing I was concerned about, not having enough money to pay off a ruffian, so they want to mess with stuff. Thing is, though, I think I did pay him enough to leave. Yeah, he left. Eivor, please leave. He left. He just destroyed everything on his way out. Ugh. There is some stuff you can do about ruffians later, if I remember right. Actually, there's one particular item that's really expensive that I believe will keep ruffians out forever. I'm pretty sure. That dude leaves so I don't have to worry about filling sin anymore. Uh, I don't want you here. Like, I really don't. Back. In fact, since I don't particularly want to just leave them here dying, I don't want to have Distardos come over here. I'll just break him. Which I think will make other Piazzas around it sad. But... Oh, Eve were left. Okay, cool. A new resident, resident already. Uh, I don't really intend to have a rock here, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah, but for a while, for a good while, we're gonna have to worry about ruffians doing stuff like that if we're in this garden. Unfortunately. I mean, it's still a nuisance in any other garden, but in this one in particular, where everything is water, that's really annoying. Especially since he did that despite me paying him off. There's only already eight bluebells. Also, should I just... Do I want to have an, wait for an Arachnid to join us, or... Should I just sell those radiants? I'm not sure. But you need to eat bluebells. I can just sell these apples for a little bit more money. Since I have basically nothing on hand right now. And what was it? Romance a little bit more. We'll get Master Romancer eventually. This episode doesn't seem like since we're basically out of time already, or at least I might wait like a couple more minutes, five at most, but... Pretty much out of time. Notice how Eeyore's actually walking somewhere different this time. It is a nice detail I never actually knew was there. Dude. Oh no, you know, get deselected. Cool.
Like. I'll probably try to stick to having these two be the ones to eat. I mean, this guy is living the dream, apparently. Nelly! Come on. Can't get Nelly to leave while the others are there, though. Try to get Norm away from the house, though. I need another... Duh. Templars aren't eating the... No, don't go in. You can't have one go out if another one's going in. Oh, one got stuck up there. Guys, come on. It's really tough trying to break this guy's win. They're trying when they want to sleep. Because they all want to go in the house. If you can breathe them, then you have a house. And they want to go in the house because of it. Worm. I don't think we kept up in the by slinking it actually makes them happy, which is good. Uh, Ooh! Awesome. Ta da! Look at me now. Quite an improvement, what? My basic level of hygiene is not the only change, for I have also set up a grand new store here in the village that I'll fill with the most special items I find on my many travels. My apologies if I'm ever away, but should you notice the store is open, I urge you to pay me a visit and peruse whichever items I have managed to find on my latest trip. Be seeing you soon, I hope. Yes, so... Beggar Transform. Interesting description. Why do you keep seeing this same video? But anyways, point being, this now means we have the last store open. I think you not always what available. You do, friend? Ah, you see only a humble wandering trader, but I'm confident there are things you could be tempted to buy from Ivor's portable treasure trove. Things that I assure you cannot be found elsewhere. And he gives you some very, very valuable things. Joy Candy, which makes, you know, I was overjoyed automatically. Uh, I don't know if this does anything. I don't know if that one actually does anything in particular. But Most things here do something interesting. What's water? I actually don't have uh. water wave in the slightest. I fear my prices can go no lower. Oh, I just wanted to see what the description was. But, but, but. I fear... I fear my prices can ah, go okay. once more. The road calls. See if I can find descriptions for those things. These are very, very interesting items. And he also sells a special kind of fertilizer, too. Does this tell us what the glass watering can is? No. Ah! A glass watering can? I wonder if it's just a better watering can. I think, I don't know if there is one more watering can upgrade or two, but basically, you know, I don't know what all the stuff that he's selling right now does. Some of it does very interesting stuff. Let's see if we can end off this episode with a little bit of reading, though. Can you eat that bluebell, actually? That's just right there. It's right there, man. There you go. I could just sang one bluebell. Feed the both of these guys. Are you Beautiful. And now he's <laughs> now sleep. But now these guys are actually all set up except for building a house though so I'll see if I can find a good place to build a house just so that next time I play this I don't forget to so I don't forget next time to ha have a house for these guys so I'm not necessarily gonna remember that I wanted to breed these guys oh man I wasn't even thinking about how much money I had um I mean, I'd like to have a place for these guys to be. In a house. 
but... How about... I don't think I... Oh, oh I did get a stun plant. Where? Huh. Yeah, as she says... Yeah, there's something near the stun plant that's preventing it from growing, basically. Which is fine. I actually don't need these flowers here or anything. Make sure I don't actually sell my quackberry. I don't know what he's so unhappy for, though, to be honest. I shouldn't need any of these flowers for anything, I don't think. If I do, I can easily buy them again for super cheap. I... Are you... So I'll move this. Let's move it next to the house I need it for. Tell these guys to go somewhere else. This one actually grew. Cool. I don't need it anymore. Let's see if we can get the house to fit on here nicely. And that'll be that for this episode. Morning. Can I interest you in some very reasonable before I? So whenever I try to rotate it, it moves a little bit before it actually starts rotating. Like that. Which is a little frustrating. So while it's rotating, it moves in a weird way. Okay. There we go. Cool. Uh, can I not dig this up though? I can. Okay, cool. Is that added more land than I wanted to have added? But now, that'll be ready for the next time we start playing this. Next time, next episode, let's play Viva Piñata. Where we work more on getting Master Romancer, which should give us a good setup for the next level up as well. And by extension, doing more stuff. And one would hope more... garden space as well, which will then also mean even more stuff. Yes, there's a hard board on how much you can cut cut this off here. You need to have a little bit of land around it, apparently. I don't know if that's just for him to go in, actually, or if it's actually for the house. You might be able to remove more once the house is done. I might want to finish the house this episode just because of that, actually, even though I wasn't planning on doing that. Because I want to have that fixed right now. You only have one that's filling your mess right now, or no, Norm's in there. Norm, come out. Get these two romancing again. So much stuff to do in any given moment. It makes it hard to stop playing this. Okay. More Normanelli. There's that. Can I actually? No. Reason being that they actually need to. Oh, that's unfortunate. The thing is, they need to be able to walk onto that from here. So the animation probably won't work otherwise. But that's there now. It's nice. It's just widen this a little bit. Okay. So I'll be back for this episode. Let's play View and Piata. Always some more and more stuff going on. Hey. No. Stuff like this, for instance. No eating my tap flies. Bye, guys. Are these guys breeding or not? Nelly! Why did Nelly go back in? Oh, no. If you're wondering, if you sell a house with pinatas in it, the pinatas will just be displaced outside the house. Why is Nelly still in here? 
Oh, no, she's not. Okay. Breed, though. Oh, this one just die. Dang, got too old. Are you selling? Actually, no, I'm not. Because I want to... See if I can... Get a seed from it. Yes, I can. Awesome. Ah, uh, mini game. Almost got Master Romance with these guys, though. Only one more after this. And we will have it. Hopefully, my first try on this next week will not be a flop. I mean, I say wanted to in the episode in just a moment, ten minutes ago. It's clear that the flower head is worth more than the plant itself, but whatever. The plant in its entirety. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, for real this time. Bye, guys. Shoot. Did prove it? So much stuff going on. It's great. About to get a Master Romance reward, and then lots of money when we sell all those other new cats, aside from the first two. Same with Taflies. Though not as much money for them. Let me just get them annoyed. Anyways. Bye, guys. Actually, even better. There we go. Bye, guys.